Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for the weekly update. A uh, few things today. First of all, no videos still. Um, the uh, recovery is still kicking my butt, so I, I don't realistically see videos returning till October, uh, which sucks because that was a lot of what I did during the day was drawing and videos and editing, so like, I'm trying to figure out what to do now. Um, it's, uh, you know, I can't like sit in the same spot for too long because it gets very uncomfortable, so I can't just like sit and watch my computer all day or watch anime. Um, I still don't have the presence of mind to play a video game for hours on end, so like, I've just been sitting around trying to uh, <clears throat> trying to do mindless things but failing spectacularly <laughs> that's been very tough um, let's see so this past week uh, was the Jewish holiday of Rosh Hashanah uh, it's the new year so um, Shana Tova to uh, all my Jewish friends and watchers out there hope you had a good holiday uh, this coming week, in on Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday, is Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. Um, and uh, I ask once again if, uh, if there's anything, any uh, outstanding uh, grievances. Um, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. I, I don't know how much I really can mentally address at the moment, which sucks because, um, you know, that really shouldn't be a, a reason why someone shouldn't have their, you know, problems, problem, things done to them addressed, you know, because the other party can't do it, but I'm just, I've been very out of it, um, but I'm still always, always trying to think of, of ways that I can you know, make things right with people or, or, you know, not cause problems in the first place. And I apologize if there are problems that I have caused. Um, let's see. Also this past week on Thursday, uh, I went to the doctor for a two-week out uh, post-op checkup. <coughs> I was hoping to get all of my uh, drainage tubes removed. Um, I got half of them out, so I still only have two left right now. Uh, so I am more comfortable than I was. It's still not the best, but um, I got the one on my leg out and one one that was like right over here. So it's just easier to sleep now. Uh, and I was given the okay to sleep flat on my back as long as I don't l sleep on on my left side entirely uh, because um, the vein that they grafted there is uh, really uh, like the first week is like the danger week for that but uh, they want me to stay off of it for another week or so just to be sure um, and uh, normally at this point, at around three weeks, you know, sometime this week, would be the point where I get the staples out of my back, uh, out of the main incision in my back. But um, because of the Jewish holidays happening and like a billion other things, it doesn't look like that's going to be happening until the following week yeah because uh, this Thursday is Yom Kippur it's the Jewish holiday season so it's, it's a month with a whole bunch of stuff so this Thursday is Yom Kippur and then next Monday night meaning that the 20th uh, starts the holiday of Sukkot which lasts for nine days with uh, two days of holiday that won't be here and then five days uh, where I'll be around but that includes a Saturday so that you know cuts into that and then another two days at the end so um it'll be like i won't be here from monday night till wednesday night and then i'll have thursday 
and Friday and Sunday, and then the next Monday night till the next Wednesday night, uh, I'll be gone again, and then there'll be no more holidays until Hanukkah in December, early December, I think. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be very busy for everybody here, and um, it's hard to get to the doctor. So we're trying to just lump all of the appointments we can into that one of the intermediary days of the Sukkot holiday. So I'm going to have all of the... I'm going to have both of these drains and uh, and the staples uh, for another two weeks, two and a half weeks. Or no, a week and a half, right? One week, a week and a half. So we'll see. Um, over the, uh, the the holiday this past week, it was really horrible. I, I didn't sleep. Um, I just, I... Maybe just I was well. I I know what was going on. I'm not going to get into TMI with that because there was uh, a lot of bodily problems that were that were happening. But um, my body was not in a state that it could fall asleep, and it was horrible. Um, and uh, eventually, I fixed a few of the things that needed to be fixed. And also getting the drains out and being able to sleep on my back the next day helped. So I've been trying to catch up on sleep. Um, I've been <laughs> been practically living off of the these boost drinks, which you know aren't aren't good diet drinks, but um, they're full of protein and uh, vitamins and stuff. And uh, you know my. Uh, my appetite kind of goes in and out, so drinking drinking my nutrition is, is really the way to go for me. I'm trying to work my way back up to actually eating solid food. Um, I have solid meals, but um, mostly not. Uh, but I'm really trying. But uh, between that and dehydration and a few other things, it's just been a very, very tough week. Mm. Um, I was given the okay to take the bandage off my leg for short amounts of time to shower and stuff, so that's cool. Um, and I just got I got so many scars now. But anyway, it's been it's been a rough week. Um, so I apologize. You know I. I, I want to apologize for you know not being able to make videos, but the you know I just can't. They they wouldn't be good. This is this is the loudest I've been in a week. You know I've I've barely talked. Um, I've I've had no energy. Right now I'm just working on walking around for more than five minutes at a time, and um, you know using the stairs. You know, just to to try to move my body a little bit, but um, you know, this this surgery has been a lot harder than uh, I expected, or was led been was was led to expect. So yeah. Um, you know, this week, this week is just going to be, you know, more recovery, is what I'm saying. Um, anything interesting happening this week, or happened this week? Uh, there was a PlayStation, uh, you know, presentation thingy. So they announced a remake of KOTOR, which is super cool. Um, they didn't show anything for it, but I would love to see what a remake of KOTOR would be. Because I love that game, um, but I find it very hard to play these days, especially with the battle system just being very slow. Um, 
so I would love to see like the characters and the story and all the funny little things you can do but updated for an easier time uh, let's see they announced uh, Insomniac is making a Wolverine game and Spider-Man 2 which is cool uh, and God of War Ragnarok looks really really cool and they announced a bunch of other stuff. I didn't I didn't write it down because I was on my way home from the doctor watching it. Um, and there are auditions open for the Zelda Universe's Wind Waker dub, which I would love to get in on. It's the deadline's October first, which is a few weeks away. But um, I'm really hoping that I'm well enough to emote for the stuff, you know, before then, because, uh, I, I didn't do for the, I didn't, uh, audition for the Breath of the Wild thing, but, you know, I want to at least try for some of the Zelda stuff, because it's, you know, I think I can do okay voices sometimes, and, uh, I love Wind Waker, so, um, yeah, I'd like to just try that. Um, and that's really it. Nothing else. Nothing else, uh, happened for me. It's just been kind of the same thing every day. Of, uh, you know, get up, grab a brush, pull a little makeup, high scarf, fade away the shake up. I can't do the rest of the bit. Um, you know, just, just get up, have some have a boost. I haven't had coffee since before the surgery, and I'm wondering if I should, you know, try it again in, in the hopes that it'll perk me up a little bit, or should I just use this as an excuse to get off of caffeine? I don't know yet. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I haven't had coffee in a while. Um... I drink coffee every day. I was I love coffee. I love having something warm like that in the morning, you know. Um But yeah, so thank you all uh as always for your continued support. Um thank you for bearing with me and um all right, one one last thing. So I've been I re I've been replaying Breath of the Wild a little bit. Or before the surgery, I started replaying it, and then I've kind of just been turning it on for Amiibo stuff. But um, I got, since it's almost impossible to get the actual Amiibos off of Amazon, I got this thing of all of the Zelda-related Amiibo cards as, as or uh, all the Zelda-related Amiibos as cards. So, like... Um, you know, just for scanning purposes. So, like, let's say uh, the Guardian here, right? So it's a card of the Guardian Amiibo, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna... I, I, I can't manually focus the camera, I'm sorry. Pretend this is a, a clear picture. But on the back of the cards, uh, it says what you can get from them, which is really, really cool. Um... And with, uh, you know, characters like, uh, let's say, Toon Link here, right? Or, I picked out Ganondorf, like Ganondorf, so it has, like, the sort of, the, the special stuff you can get from that card, like the Sword of the Six Sages, um, or the, the Zelda characters, like the, um, you know, from the 30th anniversary thing, like the Ocarina Time Link. So like the card there, you know, says, you know, tells you like you can get the Capitine, Tunic of Time, etc. And uh, the other types of items. So it's just really, really cool. And it came with this little thing that had space for all the cards, which was super nice. Um, so uh, it's just a really easy way to, uh, you know, scan the stuff. And uh, these cards also work with... Age of Calamity, the Hyrule Warriors game. 
for uh, for unlocks, so that's cool too. But um, yeah, I figured if if I can't get like the Guardian Amiibo and stuff because they're all super expensive now, you know, I'll get that. And the, this this set of of all of the Zelda Amiibo and included the one for the Loftwing, you know, the the Skyward Sword one. Um, it was twenty bucks, so um, it's the price of one one amiibo uh, for all the uh, NFC cards. So uh, yeah, I think that was a good deal, and it works also, which is a plus. Um, but yeah, so I've just been like scanning every day and then turning the game off because I can't sit and play. Usually if I was playing a game, I would be sitting here, but I can't do that from this chair because it's really uncomfortable, and I can't sit in bed because that's really uncomfortable. Sitting up in bed is really uncomfortable for me, which sucks, because that was like my my go-to, you know, I'm too tired to sit in a chair position, so maybe I'll try to go downstairs and sit in one of the couches. I just, uh, it's still hard for me to use the stairs. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking now because I'm very tired. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for sticking sticking through your own lives um, and, uh, you know, supporting the people around you, not just myself, but everybody around you and, um, you know, being being good to people. You know, it's, uh, it's really important, and uh, remember to be good to yourself as well, because uh, it has to, everything has to start from, from within, you know? So thank you very much for watching, and uh, hang in there. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.